The paint people back with another paint review on the Benjamin Moore color Beach Glass. This is a color that is a bit coastal feeling, sort of cool, still fairly soft, very, very popular and highly requested by our community. We're gonna go through some of the technical elements of this color as we always do on Color Quickie. But not only that, I'm gonna give you an entire color palette that I've put together to work alongside Beach Glass, thus giving you at least a pretty good starting point in terms of building that color scheme of your dreams. So if you wanna make my day, you can press that like button for me and we can get right to it. The first thing I wanna talk about is what kind of color is Beach Glass? When you look at it and you look at its description on the Benjamin Moore website, I believe it says something along the lines of being a calming blue with a gray undertone. Now, I don't normally define gray as an undertone, but there's definitely a grayed out toned down element to this color, mainly because it is fairly soft and subtle with its coloration, which is usually equated to being kind of gray. I do find it also has a pretty strong presence of blue and also a touch of green as well. You can almost describe it as a very cool, subtle teal color, but personally, I would still deem it as being a fairly neutral color, even though it is so cool leaning. It doesn't have enough vibrancy to really pull itself into blue territory, let's say. That does give it some versatility, and flexibility, especially if you like working within these cooler coastal leaning colors. The other technical thing that I wanna mention is how light or how dark this color is. It's actually pretty much in the middle. The way we know this is we look at the colors LRV, which is listed on Benjamin Moore's website. It's 49.7, which is literally 0.3 off of being perfect 50% in terms of how much light it reflects. So that is a mid-tone through and through. And mid-tones are pretty nice to use, especially on interior projects, on walls and things like that. They have enough coloration to substantiate them. They're not gonna be too vague as a color. There is enough saturation there to really have some oomph, which I think is a good thing. Now, because it only reflects half of the light in those areas of your home that maybe aren't very well lit, that might be a consideration that you wanna make. That's actually why I picked some lighter colors in this palette to really finish the whole thing off and really round out a pretty varied list of colors that all work in a really nice way. And why don't we get to those colors right now? First one being Dove Wing. OC-18, it's also known as 960 in terms of its color code, but it is part of that beautiful off-white collection by Benjamin Moore. And Dove Wing, kind of biased towards it because it is the main hallway color of my home. That's what I painted upstairs with. And what I like about it is it feels pretty airy, kind of like a dove's wing. But what's great about it is it sort of has this chameleon-like effect. When it's a bit darker, it almost has a silvery quality to it. But then when the sunlight comes in through my nice beautiful windows, it warms up. And it really does an amazing job at engaging me visually in the morning when all the light's coming in. It just really pumps me up as a color. The second color pairing is Northern Cliffs. And this one is a little bit darker than Beach Glass and obviously much darker than Dove Wing. It sort of has that silveriness as well. A little more brown though, so a little more of a taupe feel going on, a little more earthy and grounded I feel overall. It just gives you another mid-tone that isn't blue or green leaning really at all. It's a little bit of a deeper grayish color. So technically more neutral I would say because it does have that balance of cool and warm mixed into one. And I could also see it coexisting as Dove Wing's darker partner, although their undertones are just a little bit different, but still within that same family of colors. Now the third color is the accent, but what's interesting is it's the lightest color that we've talked about even lighter than Dove Wing. Remember when I talked about how Dove Wing can sometimes get pretty warm with all the sunlight coming in? Well, fresh air gets even warmer because this is like an 81 LRV creamy yellow color. Pretty vibrant compared to the others, but in the grand scheme of yellow as a category, it's still pretty soft. It'll just seem a little brighter and more energetic next to the neutrals that we've been talking about and also next to beach glass, which is definitely more cold leaning. So this is going to be playing with opposites a little bit, cool and warm, a bit complimentary. So if you are using fresh air with beach glass in the same space, just be mindful of a ratio, not really a 50-50 split, but maybe a 30-70 or 
80-20, have one more dominant color, and then have the other that's a little more in a supportive fashion. It won't feel too jarring in that sense. The way that I could easily see these colors coexisting in a simpler fashion is just in different rooms. Any room that you want a beautiful enveloping kind of aura, Fresh Air does a great job of doing that because of that yellow quality. Now what about trim colors? Baseboards, doors, frames, all that good stuff. Mountain Peak White would be my first choice just because I feel it's a very nice, straightforward, clean, crisp white. There is a dash of cream, not so much as some of the other creamier whites by Benjamin Moore, but there's just enough of it there to really pop off of any of the colors, especially beach glass. And I usually recommend the off-white trim choice for most people as a good default, but if you want something darker, whether you're doing your baseboards dark or even your interior doors, Westcott Navy is a great choice. This color is like a charcoal navy. It's really rich, not quite a pitch black color, but it can be mistaken taken for black in certain lighting conditions. I think it works beautifully with the blue aspect in beach glass and can complement the other colors in this palette really well too. Speaking of the palette, here it is all together. Let me know what you think of this one. And I got another one right over here. So let's just keep on watching these together. I try not to watch my own videos too much, you know? I can't help it though. <laughs> I'm just checking for potential mistakes, that's all. 